going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i got early access to sonic rumble you know somehow and i got to play recently and i gotta be honest i had a great time playing this game and i wanted to ask one question in this video though was it worth it well that's what the question i'll be answering with you guys in this video but i do want to let you guys know that some of the recording will be obviously not the best quality and two i was doing a voice over all this because i couldn't really hook up my mic to my phone so without further ado let's get right on into the video well all right guys we are going to start off by playing my second match because i'm uh you know on my phone i guess i'm uh you know the, the, some of the the the, the recordings got uh, magically deleted which was cool, but anyways, um, uh, we start off the second game that I've ever played, and uh, we start off into this chemical plant zone. And I gotta be honest, dude, this was a great zone, dude. Everything, dude, I loved it so, 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 so much. The parkour was good. The mobile controls were good, especially compared to the Fall Guys mobile controls. Because if you guys played Fall Guys mobile, do you know those controls are terrible? But unlike uh sonic rumbles controls they are amazing but you don't really run as fast which i noticed at the first time playing but i guess you get used to it after a little bit and as soon as you make it to the end you actually get an option to spectate or just to hang around with people in emote and chat which is actually very 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 cool and i also want to touch upon a little bit like the, the batniks inside this mode they're pretty cool don't get me wrong but i think i think i wish they had more of a purpose you know what i mean I think that would have been better. And also, when you complete a level, you also get like a thousand rings if you come first. So it's kind of like a ring bonus every time you complete a level. And I'm pretty sure when you finish the game, it actually collects all the rings and puts them into your account, which is very cool. But anyways, guys, unfortunately, we did qual. And by the way, 32 people are inside of the game. But just like that, it dropped down to 16. And I guess the rest of the contestants hopped into a little bit of a portal, I'm pretty sure. And then we were off to round two, which was Frozen Factory Hunt. Now, I gotta be honest, this one is cool and bland at the same time. So how it works, you basically go down a big mountain and it's kind of an infinite loop. And you have to collect as much, like, sort of, I'm gonna call them circles. You have to collect as many circles as you can to get as much points. And you, again, you don't wanna be last. I think only eight people qualify here. So you need to be in the top eight. And eventually when you fall down, you're gonna have to defeat four golden batniks. And after you do that and collect your rings, then you can keep going on in the infinite loop. And there's also sometimes these segments where you have to jump up and go on this golden slide which I don't think I was skilled enough to do but I gotta be honest great mechanic cool zone I honestly think this is one of my favorites the only thing I don't like though is when you're sliding down the ramp you can't jump and dodge the penguins you have to do them manually with the with the stick which you know on the stick is very hard to control like the controls are good itself but sometimes the stick is a little finicky it's probably because like, my hands sweat a lot when I play games. Don't ask why. And the jump button is a little small. But all in all, this is a like, great game mode. Obviously, I qualified. I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I am the GOAT. Stop the cap. But yeah, I qualified third for this one. And we've managed to make it on to the second round. Thankfully. Because, oh my gosh, dude. If I did it, that would have been so depressing. But anyways, it cut in half to eight. There were only eight people left after this. And the winners hopped into the final ring. In the final map, you may ask, well, it is Frozen Factory Ring Battle. Now, this one is actually simple and really fun. By the way, guys, all of these end games are just collecting rings, and I don't really like it that much. But you know what? There are mechanics, like the fighting mechanic we'll talk about later, where you can just beat people up and then take their rings. But anyway, let's talk about more of this map. Now, this map is very cool. Sort of like you have to clear up the snow to run faster, and there are a bunch of running shoes and magnets to help you uh, collect the most rings. And a bunch of other stuff spawns, like rings that are that contain 50 or 100 in the or some of the rings even give you this little fighting mechanic which on the see if you saw the screen there's this little button with a star inside of it and once you get that little fighting mechanic you uh, can actually go up to someone like homing attack into them take all of their rings or take all of them but take most of their rings and keep going which is a great mechanic for this i actually really like it helps you take first place really easily but yeah guys honestly though all in all was a great game i gotta be honest dude but let's see how i did and um uh come to think of it i came so close as you can see guys i was in first for the whole time until i was robbed 
of my victory. And just like that, I came second. Well, alright guys, those were my first impressions on the game. I did really, really, really enjoy it. And all I gotta say is, um, I'll maybe we talk about the shop a little bit in a different video, because I do like how they handle all of this stuff. It is incredible. But let's answer the question. Is it worth it? And I would say yes. They even recently added a squads mode where you can play with all your friends. And I gotta be honest, dude, it is such a fun time playing this game, even by yourself or with random people. It's kind of like Fall Guys but fast paced, go figure. But I do genuinely think this game is a good competitor to Fall Guys or at least Fall Guys Mobile for now. But without further ado, here are all these shout outs from the last video you guys have earned it. And if you can tell me if you guys are excited for Sonic Run below if you're not, I only have three of you guys to shout out in the next video. And if you have not already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, turn the bell. Go click on one of these videos on the screen because I'm sure it's a banger. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.